तिर अहम साक्षी की ओर विद्ये विविच्छे युवा पुनः पुनः अगेन एंड अगेन सर्वद्वान साक्षी समुक्ता हाँ whoever knows समुक्ता है he is the one who finally knows and he is the one who is the विद्वान correct so ब्रह्मत नाना वाली मालस्लोक का one who say one who realizes that I am the साक्षी okay पुनः पुनः अगेन एंड अगेन he alone is mukta okay he alone is liberated right he is he alone is vidwan nidnani so now why you have to do puna 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 has to be done in the mind so now aham sakshi ti na i am the sakshi is to be understood and recognized by the mind mind alone recognizes again and again take the sakshi bhava witness consciousness okay so now i am the sakshi and becoming sakshi is still in the mind the real sakshi is beyond the mind the transcendental reality brahman okay the mind takes the position i am the sakshi for example i am doing some work agitation comes okay i am the sakshi i am the witness of the body and mind so now here sakshi and sakshim is there subject and object is there right the subtle subject and object is there as long as certain subject object is there they are still in the mind okay but it helps it helps you to get rid of your uh, vasanas but it is not final realization because sakshi what you speak of sakshi a saksham the witness and witness is there right subject object duality is there so now real sakshi or brahman is beyond this subject object duality which is the awareness the light atma jyoti okay that light illuminates the sakshi and saksham in that light there is no duality right so now sakshi to sakshi to brahman you have to make a jump sakshi is not final taking sakshi bhav is not final because still a mental position some sakshi you have to become i am brahman you have to realize that will realization happen when you realize that whatever i am saksham is there witness is there is mithya so if witness is mithya sakshi is also mithya that means mind sakshi is still in the mental level witness and witness both are mithya then what is satya satya alone remains light pure light that is i am brahman that understanding happens in the buddhi intellect no other okay please understand all relations at the is happening at the intellect level only the thought process okay because ignorance is in the intellect adnana is in the intellect gnana has also happened in the intellect but gnana will cancel the adnana then what what is there is all your doubts are gone vidyate hrade grantih chidyate sarva samshaya all doubts are gone ignorance is gone then there is no more search the self has found itself in finding itself there is a deep peace para shanti now this para shanti is a transcendental peace not mental peace the mind mind now mind doesn't agitate <coughs> mind <coughs> agitation of mind down died down because mind is always agitated to seek object the object is not there now subject is not there seeker is not there pure awareness is brahman is there in that para shanti the supreme peace is attained so many people have a that there is some turiya is beyond the mind beyond the sense organs so then you are trying to look for something beyond okay something beyond you are trying to look for it cannot be reached by the mind okay it cannot be reached by the sense organs brahman cannot be reached so now we have a concept that oh there is something not reachable by brahman mind and sense organs i have to find it so to find it without the mind and sense organs you cannot find anything then knowledge is not possible brahman never had a problem okay problem was in the mind and knowledge is possible when you find when you find the answer correct who am i now the knowledge of who am i is also a thought only this this thought destroys other thoughts of ignorance are you getting what i'm saying that way who am i aham brahmasmi i am brahman is a thought 
that brahmakar thought brahmakar vritti this is not brahmakar vritti is destroyed after recognizing i am brahman now here i am is pure existence not manifest existence and pure existence is not knowable that knowable not knowable timeless spaceless brahman i am that recognition happens and that is a thought that is the last thought that is the real last thought people speak of last thought at the time of death last time the thought of at the time death is not a last thought it is the first thought in the next birth it is the it will give next birth here the last thought has happened that's final ego has destroyed so then parashanti is attained supreme peace is attained that's called brahmadnan aham brahmasmi i am brahman now there's no there's no what i'm saying is uh, doubt Huh? there is no it's not a personal recognition it's not a personal i am brahman is not a personal i am brahman is brahman is infinite okay the infinite self took the form of individual self and individual self found the brahman now in that process the individual self is merged because when you say i am brahman the subject and object is not there natr and neya is not there natr deya dhanam merged into one neyat natr gnanam the merge into one which is pure awareness the closest equivalent of that is deep sleep so now in the mind one recognizes that there is the one that is enlightening this mind or uh, Illuminating him. Being the Sakshi Bhava, hmm. is the Brahman. Now that once the clarity is there, is the clarity still in the mind, or it is in the mind only? Mana eva karanam manushana bandha moksha yoh. <laughs> Your mind alone is the cause of bondage. Mind alone is the cause of liberation. So mind is the cause of bondage. when atma is identified with body mind intellect mind is a cause of liberation when you recognize the atma which is eliminating the body and mind complex which is not a object pure awareness nanu nanembudu nanalla ideha mana buddhi nanalla sajjananda atma shiva nanu nane shivoham shivoham now shiva is not object shiva is myself shiva is the i i real i that once you recognize the job is done <laughs> still i have understood it but still i have not realized it <laughs> why <laughs> why <laughs> i have understood it but i have not realized it yes. because still there is a subject remaining traces of subject are remaining whatever call you call a subject you are not objectified the subject the total objectification of subject has happened a partial objectification of subject will not help you the impurity will remain the total objectification of subject is sensations feelings thinking ideas ideas is causal causal level that you have to remove objectification even ideas is a object and not realize is an idea that's also object that also has to be objectified the path continue to hold on to this and keep uh, what is the, the path, oh, path, path is i am sakshi then uh, sakshi is there sakshiyo ham sakshi aham sakshi bhava you may have made it then you remember sakshi is brahman yes rupan with shabdan with then i am sakshi as sakshi i am brahman now you drop the sakshi mark sakshi and sakshi then you remember i am brahman so then i am brahman is still an idea that idea has also to be objectified the one who object when you eliminate the idea is myself the one who eliminates the idea is myself is a thought now it's a thought only but still it has not happened ha huh. <laughs> that means pure complete identification a complete object which is not happened completely everything subject has not become object <laughs> where is the subject remaining i don't know but subject remains <laughs> Hmm. Prabhu ji, yeah. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, 
can we conclude that in the waking state mm -hmm. the liberated one mm -hmm. can either be in witness state can only be in witness uh, either he can he can only be in the witness uh, sakshi in a waking state because uh, otherwise only in deep sleep or in samadhi he will be brahman no, under no. state the, of surya Nani is brahman the waking state only correct See, but in the waking purpose. state he will be sakshi tan no no that's our uh, understanding of Nani. uh huh we said Nani sakshi because he is uh, doing walking talking all those things right Hmm. So then uh, thoughts are coming and talking and all those things. Hmm. And large is not affected. We'll say he's a sakshi. We'll say. Huh. Okay, but the sakshi here, huh. sakshi bhava is at a mental level. Huh. Okay, where I am, hmm. the thought is there. There's a duality there. There's a sadhana. Sakshi bhava is a sadhana practice. Huh. Real sakshi is non dual, Brahman. Huh. Okay, so okay. Now. From Nani point of view, he is already Brahman. That means hmm. no duality there. Hmm. But from people who are looking at Nani, they'll say he is a Sakshi. Now for oh. him, a Sakshi, Sakshi and Sakshi duality is there. Otherwise, there's no Sakshi possible for them. Ha, ha, ha. From Nani point of view, he is non-dual Sakshi. Advaita. Oh. From Adnani point of view, he is a dual Sakshi. Advaita. Ha, ha, ha. No, but apparent duality is there, no? Because body, mind, object are seen, right? So that he will see as a witness only. No, no, for him, uh -huh. what he is a mitya only. Uh, the appearance. Mitya. Appearance is not real. No, my shadow is not me, no. Correct. So he will be witnessing that appearance. There's nothing called witnessing. <laughs> okay. No other. Uh, see, okay. from Nani point of view, he is non dual Sakshi, Advaita Sakshi. Okay. Advaita Sakshi, Sakshoham, when you speak of Sakshoham, uh, in Brahma Dhanavi Brahm, Mala, I am the Sakshi when you realize this. Now, that Sakshi which is spoken of is Advaita Sakshi, not, not dualistic, not mental level. Okay, okay, okay. Sakshi is like a light in uh, hmm. uh, 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 there's a Nataka uh, Deepika. Nataka Deepika, right? Pancha, uh, Panchadashi, Vidna, uh, he gives a Nataka Deepika. There's a light on the stage, Rama comes, actor comes, Sita comes, Ravana comes, it's eliminated and they go. Emptiness is mm. Nothing happens to the lamp. So now when we speak of Sakshi in Brahmadana Mala, huh. we are speaking of that Sakshi which is non-dual. Okay. Mm. You have to think of Sakshi, that means it's a mental level. Screen, screen type of Sakshi, screen. So now, mm. uh, uh, what is the slogan? Bra Sakshi ho? I'm Sakshi, you know, Vidya. I'm Sakshi. Ah, again and again, somebody thinks of I'm Sakshi. He is Nani, they'll say. Now, again and again, you have to think I'm Sakshi. That means he has not recognized, he has not, he has not recognized the Sakshi, real Sakshi. Ah, uh, correct. But he is close to that, that's all. So, what is the next question? So the next question is from the state of Gnani. Uh, okay, here I will try to say all relations are at an empirical level only. Okay? That means all understanding Gnana has to happen in the Buddhi only, intellect only. Okay? People have think that transcendental relation is there is something, the relation beyond the sense and mind. No. Transcendental relation or, or relation that I am the transcendental reality happens with the Buddhi only. I am. Where subject object duality is not there. Okay, so all unla enlightenment is at the empirical level. But enlightened one is not in the empirical level. Enlightened one is a transcendent level. Because your real nature is transcendent. So, for example, in a dream, a tiger is chasing you. You run. Okay, then you realize that it's not a tiger. I'm, I'm dreaming. That relation happens in the dream. But when you wake up, you're not in the dream. Right? So this Jnana has to be in the Buddhi only. So what kind of Jnana? I am Brahman, which is non-dual, where there's no subject of the duality. Brahman cannot be known as object. Brahman cannot be known. The Brahman has no limit. That unknowable, infinite self I am. That relation happens after discrimination, Viveka. 
neti 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 and what cannot be negated existence my pure existence cannot be negated my object can be represented negated pure existence cannot be negated and what remains as pure existence is myself so here negation of thought level negation of idea level all those things will happen finally what cannot be negated pure existence what cannot be negated is pure awareness i am that brahman that is peace डिस्टर्बेंसिस Finally, when the mind is calm, purity of the mind is attained. Then you recognize the sakshi and sakshim both are nitya. Real sakshi is Brahman. That is nana, and that nana is the clarity, purity and clarity. Sakshi power helps you to purity of the mind. Then clarity is I am Brahman. That sakshi what I am speaking of is nothing but Brahman, not dual. Any questions? Yeah. This will stop. Stop. Yeah. Ah, uh, anybody? Anybody has a question from Zoom? Stop. Huh? Guruji. Ah, uh, one minute, one minute. Anybody who has a question? Guruji. Uh huh. Aparoksha anubhuti. We also have stages, Guruji. Aparoksha anubhuti is not a stage. So once you say. Okay. 